Dimitri Kerides is the Greek Minister of Migration and Asylum. He joins us live now from Athens. Thank you so much for being with us. There have been about 17,000 migrants traveling to Greece so far this year, and that is because it is a prime destination for migrants traveling from the Middle East, from North Africa, pr primarily because of its location. If this war between Israel and Gaza spreads out of control, if it becomes part of a regional conflict, what does that mean for irregular migration to Greece and to other European states as well? Yes, there are two worries. First, uh, there is a worry about uh, Palestinians leaving Gaza. Gaza was already a difficult place to live in before the war. It might turn into an unlivable place uh, after the conflict, uh, the hostilities uh, cease. But uh, more broadly, we are concerned about the wider uh, region. And it's not only Lebanon, obviously Egypt. Egypt is a very big country, 110 million people, hosting millions of refugees and having played already from sub-Saharan Africa and having played a stabilizing role for Greece and for all of Europe uh, in that uh, regard. If uh, uh, the conflict spread, if uh, political uh, destabilization spreads to neighboring Arab countries, then uh, the situation will be very dire. All right, so the goal at this point is to stop the conflict from spreading, for it to, for, to stop it from becoming part of a more broad sort of regional war. How do you do that? Because at this point, a ceasefire is not on the table. I mean, Israel has reiterated there's not going to be a ceasefire on the table because they have to completely obliterate, destroy and defeat Hamas. So that's not going to happen anytime soon. So what is the solution here to prevent this particular conflict from spreading out of control? There must be a massive uh, humanitarian effort in southern Gaza in support of the civilian population uh, there. And there must uh, be a political plan as well for uh, uh, after the war. <coughs> Obviously, there is a need to have Hamas uh, defeated. But uh, to defeat it uh, militarily is one thing. To defeat it politically, uh, you need uh, a political perspective. Uh, there seems to be a distribution of roles, with America playing uh, uh, the more geostrategic, hard, uh, you know, uh, role, and Europe uh, in support economically of the region. There is uh, a mission of the European Commission going to Egypt in support of the Egyptian uh, economy in this uh, very dire uh, situation. And in terms of Greek citizens that are stuck and trapped in Gaza right now, what can you tell us about how many have been let through through the Rafa crossing, how many are still to be let through, and how many are still obviously uh, stuck in Gaza right now? We have uh, 16 Greek citizens who were evacuated yesterday through the Rafa crossing into Egypt, 11 of which uh, uh, of them came to Athens this morning. The other five are still in Egypt on their way to uh, Greece. There are a few Greek, uh, more Greek citizens uh, left inside uh, Gaza, including in a Greek Orthodox uh, monastery. And just in terms of where you stand, uh, in terms of a humanitarian pause. I mean, the U.S., Antony Blinken, um, have talked about, listen, there needs to be some kind of humanitarian pause, not necessarily a ceasefire at this point in time, but at least a pause. Israel is saying, look, there's not even going to be a humanitarian pause until the release of hostages is on the table. I mean, God knows if that's going to happen. So just give us your take on whether or not Israel should be at least allowing a humanitarian pause in the fighting right now? Uh, Greece was very clear from the start. It has uh, recognized the right of Israel to self-defense, but it has warned uh, against a humanitarian catastrophe that will do uh, Israel and uh, nobody else any good. Uh, so we have to be careful. And in that sense, uh, uh, there is a need uh, for uh, uh, humanitarian action uh, uh, in Gaza right now. Uh, however, uh, there is also a need uh, to have Hamas uh, uh, defeated. So there is a fine balance right now, uh, which Europe and America is stressing to our uh, Israeli, uh, to the Israeli government, to the Israeli friends. Yeah, Blinken saying, look, Israel does have the right to defend itself, but how it does that, how it defends itself uh, really does matter. In